cutting through red tape uh, is very difficult. It's an extremely difficult process. In, in my case, it would have taken too long to get through. I wouldn't, I would have died. She was down to 80 pounds, she couldn't eat, and would not be helped unless she had this medication. Somehow we had to find a way to get this medication into the country because the FDA had not yet approved it. And we called Senator Earl Inspector. And he said not to worry. The uh, medication would be in Cindy's room the next day by noon. And the next day by noon it was there. He came through for me or I wouldn't be here today. I needed Cindy to live if not for me, because I was selfish and wanted her to live, but certainly for her, do her daughter, my granddaughter. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. One of the things I really like about um, farming the way we do is that it, it is a family um, thing. Agriculture in Pennsylvania is the number one industry to the Commonwealth and we have been faced with several very serious challenges to our agricultural position here. The avian flu was particularly um, devastating on our farm and it was good to see somebody like Senator Specter come and be concerned. With the problems that we had with avian influenza in 1984 and now again with Salmonella aeridius in 1992, Senator Specter has been particularly responsive to all the needs that we have brought to his attention and it's been critical that we have a man in Washington who's able to do so. We just think that having people like Senator Specter who understand farming will certainly help our next generation, and I think that is important. I frankly don't know what we do without his help. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. When you're told you have cancer, it's disbelief and shock and you think it's happening to someone else. As a victim of breast cancer, I, I can tell you that um, it doesn't just affect the person who has breast cancer. It truly affects the whole family. I'm impressed with what Arlen Specter has done in Washington to help our cause. He has been very effective in trying to get extra money appropriated for breast cancer and other cancer research. We would like to find out why people get breast cancer and find a cure. We need somebody like Senator Specter to push things along. And I really think he understands uh, what goes on in, in the, with the fears of, of women and, and how we've kind of had to take a back seat to other funding for health issues. I really feel that, that we're going to need Senator Specter. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. As a business owner in this valley, transportation access is very important to open up this area uh, for expansion and for progress. Many businessmen did not want to uh, come to the Mon Valley because of the problems of getting in and out of this area. I think that the involvement of Senator Specter in the Mon Valley Expressway enables our area to market itself better to key market areas such as Pittsburgh and the rest of the state. This industrial park is an example of what's being developed in conjunction with the Mon Valley Expressway. We're looking for progress for the future. People like Senator Specter are obviously a very important part of that. Through uh, the leadership of Senator Specter and the late Senator Hines, this will ensure a future for the citizens of the Mon Valley. This is the kind of help we need, and I'm sure we'll continue to have that help as long as we have Senator Specter in our corner. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. The shipyard has given me a great deal, and uh, I can't see just idly sitting by and watch the shipyard go down a drain. I just can't do that. Senator Specter has been a, a very strong supporter of the shipyard. He's been a fighter and came through every time we ever had a problem here. I think Arlen Specter's about the only real hope we have of stopping this action against the shipyard. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. Different way of life working on the river. I got a family, you know, kids are feeding that, and anybody that's willing to go out to keep things like that straight is good, you know. 
If they didn't have the locks, they wouldn't have barges loaded with coal, and we wouldn't have a job. The river is a support to almost 48,000 jobs within the Pittsburgh area. Senator Specter has, in the past, worked very hard to make the improvements on the river, so he really understands the needs of this area. For a good number of years, he worked with John Hines with the improvements of the locks. He has worked so hard for the western part of Pennsylvania in the improvement of the waterways and the locks and dams that we feel that without him, we would lose a lot within this area. Jobs are tough to find. So in that way, it's good that somebody's trying to keep the waterways open and cleaner because there's a lot of people out there that depend on it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. In order to maintain and have industry to come in and create more jobs, you have to have a better highway system and things so the trucks and the cars and things can get better access to it. If you were here long enough, what you'd see behind me is an area that totally gridlocks. The citizens of this area have been trying to get a bypass through here since 1962. The accident bypass is going to be a permanent solution to a long-standing problem. The accident bypass will open up the whole area from Philadelphia to Lancaster. Senator Specter has gone to great lengths to help us get the Exton Bypass funding in place. He made a personal trip down here to view the congestion, to see what's going on in Chester County, to see the need for the Exton Bypass. In the midst of the recession that we're in now, what Pennsylvania needs most is jobs. This highway project will create a lot of jobs. In order to get something done, you've got to be involved, and Arlen Specter has been involved in this project. He saw the problem, and he went and did something about it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. I don't think it's so much that they should like pull money out of their pockets for us, you know, but at least show us a little bit of respect for what we've done. My concerns with the closing of the surgical units at uh, Lebanon and Altoona was because of our veterans having so far to travel to get taken care of if they needed surgery. When the veterans took exception to the announcement that was made, Senator Specter was one of the first to let us, let us know that he was going to bat for us. It was through the work of Arlen Specter that the uh, surgical units would not be closed at Altoona and at uh, Lebanon. I have found Senator Specter to be a friend of the veterans. And to me, that's the most important thing. As a veteran, uh, any time that we have come to uh, Specter with our problems, he would listen and do something about it. The things you care about are the very things he's fighting for. Right now I'm standing on the lot where my house used to be. Um, in 1987, we found that we were living in uh, toxic waste. We were shocked, scared, worried about our children. It was discovered by the Environmental Protection Agency that the neighborhood was contaminated by lead as a result of the activities conducted by a former battery reclamation plant. The immediate response from the officials was that there was no problem. The only two that responded to me when I wrote to them was Senator Hines and Senator Arnold Inspector. Senator Specter was here many times, and he helped us. One of the more specific things that he did was to make sure that this was cleaned up responsibly. It's a definite asset to have a tough man like Senator Arlen Specter to knock the cobwebs off of the rockers of the people in Washington, to keep people on their toes, to let us know that there's somebody back there fighting for us. I think the best thing to say about Arlen Specter is he's always been there. He's always been there whenever American coal mining families have needed help. Whenever our retirees were about to lose their health care, we asked for his help and he was there. Whenever the American worker asked to be protected against strikes and not be replaced during strikes, Arlen Specter was there. Whenever we asked for protection for our families on the Family Leave Act, he was there fighting for us to protect these jobs here in this area. I guess the best thing to say about him is he's always been there. When we first heard that, or realized that my mother was coming down with Alzheimer's, our, I guess our first reaction was denial. General health care has to be improved, but particularly, I think, Alzheimer's, which is a devastating effect not only in the person, but the whole family. 
We do need somebody like Senator Specter fighting for funds for Alzheimer's research. And I think Arlen Specter will. And I think he has shown that in the past. My father was a veteran. He served the country for 27 years. He was in two wars. He was exposed to asbestos in the Navy. Because of his condition, he needed an oxygen machine. It was difficult for us to get him help through the VA. It was unbelievable, the red tape, the form letters. I called our inspector's office as a last ditch effort to help my father. And that afternoon, it was like lightning crashing through the sky here in Trafford. The oxygen machine was delivered. He got the help he needed and he's still here with us today. We are losing too many women to this disease, and we must save ourselves. Thank As you a breast much. cancer survivor, I've spent more than a decade fighting for more funding for cancer research. Senator Arlen Specter has been one of the strongest allies in this fight. He helped to fund a major study on diseases affecting women. Before that, he helped increase cancer research funding and made breast, cervical, ovarian, and prostate cancers top priorities. Arlen Specter cares about these issues, and his record proves it. I'm Teresa Hines. My husband, John, had a game plan for Western Pennsylvania. He and our inspector worked for 10 years on the problems facing this region. Jobs, workers and communities, roads and bridges, locks and dams. But he didn't complete his work. Ireland knows this region, and he's seen it through my husband's eyes. And he knows what remains undone. That's why it's important to elect our inspector to follow through on that game plan. If we let the steel industry go the way it is, uh, there's a lot more jobs that are going to be lost. The steel industry is everything for me. It's the only job I, my wife, family, the kids, the dog, everybody depends on it. When Senator Hines and Arlen Specter worked as a team, they were able to get VRAs passed to protect the foreign dumping of steel in America. Senator Hines, unfortunately, is no longer with us. So now we need a person with guts who can go in and tell the president, this is wrong. We need to have VRAs to help protect from the dumping of steel in Pennsylvania. Arlen Specter has that determination. I have 15 years in the steel industry, and if Arlen Specter can help me get 15 more, it'd be nice. Arlen Specter is not afraid to stand up for what he believes. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And when he tells them, he's sending a message that means jobs here in Pennsylvania. Nobody has fought harder to bring critical federal funding for health care and other social programs to Pennsylvania than Senator Arlen Specter. Arlen Specter was instrumental in securing funds for drug treatment programs. And he left the fight for the Healthy Start Initiative, which provides pre- and postnatal care to mothers and their children. Senator Specter has fought for programs that help senior citizens, veterans, and all Pennsylvania families. Arlen Specter is an independent voice, and I respect him for that. A big part of my job is to fight for the jobs of the working men and women of Pennsylvania. Mine workers, teachers, steel workers, construction workers, farmers, to help bring extended unemployment benefits when it's tough to get a job, to work hard to stop unfair foreign imports which are dumped or subsidized. And a lot of times I've had to take on the administration, and successfully too, because I know it's my job to fight for your job. When Senator Hines and Arlen Specter worked as a team, they were able to get VRAs passed to protect the foreign dumping of steel in America. Senator Hines, unfortunately, is no longer with us. So now we need a person who can go in and tell the president we need to have VRAs. Arlen Specter has that determination. And if the president is wrong, he'll tell him. And when he tells them, he's sending a message that means jobs here in Pennsylvania. For 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay Philadelphia wage, school, and other taxes, totaling over $17,000. But she did remember to pay up the day before she announced her candidacy for the United States Senate. The Philadelphia Daily News wondered,
how Yackel could have overlooked something so basic for so long. The Philadelphia Inquirer asked, was she being crafty or just sloppy? Doesn't that concern you? In a recent TV ad, we pointed out that for 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia taxes. Finally, the day before she announced her candidacy for the Senate, she paid over $17,000 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. Yackel's response? A vicious personal attack on Arlen Specter. As independent political scientist Michael Young noted, Specter's TV ad deals with an issue on the public record. Hers is a personal attack. Lynn Yackel doesn't seem to know the difference. Doesn't that concern you? In a recent TV ad, we pointed out that for 10 straight years, Lynn Yackel failed to pay thousands in Philadelphia taxes. Finally, the day before she announced her candidacy for the Senate, she paid over $17,000 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. The Allentown Morning Call's ad watch said Arlen Specter raised a legitimate issue, but the ad watch called Yackel's rebuttal unfair, embarking on issueless personal attacks and a cheap shot. Doesn't that concern you? It's no secret that drugs and violent crime are ravaging many of our families and neighborhoods. And despite the fact that President Bush and Governor Clinton may not agree on much, they both support capital punishment. Senator Arlen Specter does too. They're facing reality. They all know that capital punishment is an important tool in the war on drugs and violent crime. Lynn Yackel is against capital punishment, even for drug kingpins. Doesn't that concern you? Recently, the League of Women Voters asked a cross-section of Pennsylvanians to serve on two separate citizens' juries and rate Lynn Yackel and Arlen Specter on three important issues for Pennsylvania's future, jobs, health care, and education. After spending four days each, the Western Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher than Lynn Yackel on two out of the three issues, and the Eastern Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher on all three issues. So on the issues Pennsylvanians care about, it's Arlen Specter, five to one. Recently, the League of Women Voters asked a cross-section of Pennsylvanians to serve on two separate citizens' juries and rate Lynn Yackel and Arlen Specter on three important issues for Pennsylvania's future, jobs, health care, and education. After spending four days each, the Western Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher than Lynn Yackel on two out of the three issues, and the Eastern Pennsylvania jury rated Arlen Specter higher on all three issues. So on the issues Pennsylvanians care about, it's Arlen Specter, five to one. Obviously, jobs are important, but income from jobs can be wiped away by a sick child, catastrophic illness, or parents who need long-term health care. We need care for all Americans, but it better be affordable, accessible, and it better provide for the long-term needs of every American. I've worked hard on the Appropriations Committee to add extra dollars for research on Alzheimer's disease, breast cancer, mental illness, diabetes, and I've introduced legislation and co-sponsored legislation which works toward affordable health care for all Americans. And I've taken a lead on the Senate floor to insist that health care be brought up this year. Am I satisfied with what's come out of Washington on health care so far? Absolutely not. But I'm prepared to do what it takes to provide comprehensive, affordable health care for every American. It ought to be a fundamental right, not a privilege for the wealthy few. I'm Teresa Hines. I don't think you can agree with any senator on every issue. And I certainly didn't agree with our inspector during the Clarence Thomas hearings. Nevertheless, I am supporting him. Arlen and my husband, John, made a very strong team for Pennsylvania for over 10 years. Arlen's long-standing commitment to women's rights, human rights, civil rights, to jobs and to health is one we cannot afford to lose. And that's why I'm supporting him. My father was a veteran. He served the country for 27 years. He was in two wars. He was exposed to asbestos in the Navy as a young man. Later, it developed into asbestosis. Because of his condition, he needed an oxygen machine. 
and they needed it right away. It was difficult for us to get him help through the VA. It was unbelievable, the red tape, the form letters. Our last straw was to call Arlen Specter. Now, I didn't believe or even dream that he'd help us because he was a Republican and he was from Philadelphia. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that it was like lightning crashing through the sky here in Trafford when that oxygen machine was delivered promptly. He got the help he needed and he's still here with us today. You don't want to get a form letter and that takes three months to get a reply. You want somebody that gets a job done. You want, to, you want somebody that is not afraid to ruffle some feathers, who'll go right after and get what you need. And Arlen Specter is that way. I mean, you have a problem, he'll do every, he'll roll up his sleeves and he'll do whatever he has to do to get you some help. I'm Teresa Hines. My husband, John, spent his life fighting for Pennsylvania. And he was proud to have Arlen Specter with him. They understood the issues facing Pennsylvania and they made a good team. And they were both willing to stand up and to fight any administration if they thought that was right for Pennsylvania. John is no longer with us, but their partnership and their independence was something that Pennsylvanians truly valued. So let's keep the other partner, Arlen Specter, fighting for us. <laughs>